that's okay. <laughs> Give me the money and I can do it quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I want you to do that. Well, I'll tell you what. Your shirt is wet from the rain. Wow. Because we're just starting the fire. Good job. I was more thinking he's going to pull me, so I can't do it. And years later. I'm, uh, I was just saying, if you want, if if you need it, I I put sour for myself. Okay. Okay. The fire yeah, gets so good. I hope it's uh. I hope it's cooked. Smells good, man. It looks good. <laughs> Thanks again, Darren. I mean, actually, they even taste good. The wraps. Sure. And then at some point you can... Oops. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. It smells good. Smell it. Smell it? <laughs> Is that good? Mm-hmm. Once you're actually under it though, it's... Whoa. Yeah, Alice, I think if you, oh, if you just jump in, you'll feel a bit better. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay. Legs out. Uppers out and... <laughs> Remember, watch the ball. Don't worry, you got four hours to learn. Um, Told you there's a train. Okay. When I was just a baby, my mama told me, son, always be a good boy, don't ever play with guns. Well, I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. Not because I fell in, but because there is a lion stuck in this tree right here. Um, so I decided to do the right thing and rip it out because it was dangling into the water. And I was worried what was going to get hooked on it, or tangled in it, I should say. And then I jumped in because the, the jig and hook, whatever, that was uh, 
stuck up there actually fell into the water after I yanked on it, so. I figured there's no need for that sitting in the lake. So I figured I'd take the time to change up my line, uh, my lure I should say, put a little jig on it. I thought it was a, a turd in the water but it was a pine cone. And I put the line that I took off the tree and uh, the little jig and a bobber. No good garbage. But it wasn't a rock. It was a rock lobster. Oh God. Why? Daddy, look at it. Whoa. What? Here we go. There you go, your your sunfish. You got it. Hold, hold the rod. My baby sunfish. <laughs> Spiders in my pants. Yet to give me this many monies. And this? Yeah, because I got blackjack. Normally you'd have to give How me. How much is that? <sighs> okay, so this is gonna tell you it depends if you wash your hands or not. If you don't, you might have noticed you get like a my buddy said, when you're strapping your yak to your roof, it's never secure until you smutter those words. She ain't going anywhere. She's good. <sighs> Leaving a day early. Weather's supposed to take a turn for the worse. Plus all these idiots. It's too many idiots. I've, yeah. 
So we'll talk more. So here's the deal. Camping is not what it used to be. Um, so that was our first car car camping trip of the year, um, the family trip, and uh, I we usually I really enjoy it. Uh, I usually have a good time, but uh, the problem is, as I called them before, city it's. Uh, <laughs> so the first night there was fireworks being set off uh, at this park, not by the park of course, but by some campers. Uh, that didn't last that long. There was a lot of noise, a lot of people being very loud, some partiers in the site next to us. They at least had a good taste in music and, uh, you know, it didn't really, I think by like 10.30 they, they quieted down. I was fine with that, that's fine. Um, the second night, um, there was a group just up from us. Uh, from 10.30 at night till 11, they had their headlights shining directly on our tent. Um, uh, which were shut off just before I decided to actually go up and say something. Uh, you know, trying to give them the benefit of the other thing. Maybe they just showed up, maybe they whatever, but I have a feeling they were just charging their cell phones. Um, then about midnight, uh, they started blasting their music, which, uh, uh, again, another camper actually went and shut them up for that. Uh, then off and on throughout the night. Now, there was a train that ran through this park. Now, yes, you, you heard it. I slept through, I could sleep through that. The train's fine. It's soothing it in a way. 4.30 in the morning though, to hear them partying again was, uh, was not uh, a great experience. And it, so when I got up in the morning finally, which I think was only like 5.30 in the morning, we, everybody was awake, uh, the kids and all that too. So uh, I decided it was my first time ever uh, actually complaining about a camper um, it was just too much uh, so I went and I complained uh, a little while later uh, it was probably about 8 a.m. Uh, uh, one of the, the uh, park uh, um, guys came there he came over and uh, talked to us and he asked us he goes they had actually been already complained about and were given a warning at 1 o'clock in the morning uh, he wanted to make sure it wasn't this wasn't the same complaint and I said well they were still going at 4 30 a.m. so uh, <laughs> it was actually very enjoyable when uh, he walked over and uh, to their campsite while well, these guys are all passed out now mind you when I walked by their campsite to get the camp number the, there was garbage everywhere their food was left out there was beer bottles everywhere um, and we're in bear country right so like this this is a concern for everybody camping right now and he just yelled, uh, morning campers, at the top of his lungs, and woke all these hungover guys up, and uh, basically told them what was what. He wrote them some fines. Um, I'm assuming they got a fine for uh, the untidy campsite, which is good, and noise, and then they were also kicked out of the park. Uh, and up there right now, there's tornado warnings and everything else, so I'm glad we came home. But other than that, uh, during the day, um, while we were just enjoying our day, our last day there, you know, there was a group of probably like a hundred people in the day use part partying, uh, young guys and girls. Um, and there's no social distancing whatsoever up there. Nothing. Uh, it was. It was. And the music was insane. Like the the loudness. I, could, I was actually surprised the park let that go on um, in the day use, even though it was daytime. Uh, and uh, you know, just you got to be respectful to the other people at the campsite. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying don't go out and party. Go party, you know, whatever. Do what you want, but have respect for other people. If you're going to be in a public park where other people are camping with their kids, looking for ex escape from the city, you know, be respectful. Anyways, I, I'm just going to keep rambling here, so I'm going to stop now. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, Again, hit the like button if you like this. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, I appreciate all of you. And uh, hopefully we can get some good <laughs> backcountry camping in soon. Away from uh, all these city idiots.